Alrighty. So let's get this going here. You mentioned that you worked on the first 200 frames addressing the notes for hands, feet and the step over. So that is the section till here. And then uh, you still working on the hands from 150 to 190. Yep. I can see that. All right. And um, I worked on the hands on 200 until the end here. Actually, just looking at this before I, in case I miss it later, there's a bit of a pop in this area here. Boop, boop, right there. It's a bit of a jiggle. Right there in your spacing. So watch out there. And it still has a feel of opening all the fingers at the same time. I will probably give the pinky and the um, the ring finger a bit of a delay and bring that thumb in maybe a bit lower. So it's a bit in a bit more relaxed state as it gets out. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, and then it goes into a bit of a, a wider pose the way you have here. They can bring up the, the thumb and that way it gets a bit of a contrasty shape there and a good silhouette. Get some good contact here. It's maybe a bit soft, meaning there's a bit of the slide is maybe too much. I will probably rest and then give this a super minimal slide. And then as he goes forward and pushes past and there's more pressure and he moves forward, then the hand could continue to slide. Or it's kind of like roll off that edge the way you have it. That's cool. Looking at this here, you might go a bit far here. This I think is a bit pushed where your fingers are kind of really bending upwards. And I think that is a bit strong there. Because it's not like he is resting and pushing his hand. He's just kind of resting and then taking it away. And now it feels almost like he is really pushing and then taking it off. And I don't I don't feel like there will be that much pressure on it. He's kind of you know, gently putting his hand on there to go forward. And then it's fine on the other hand. Same thing again. You might just delay the pinky and ring a bit more. And kind of start with the ring and, and index. Could be subtle, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy. But I do like how uh, the rest drops into this here. Good offset and a good nice pose at the end. Into a simpler shape there. So that's cool. I like all that. Um, looking at this here. So you are mentioning that you meant, uh, you worked on the hands. I still feel like this is a bit soft. Just that area. So as it comes in here, let me actually let me do this here. Give this just a bit of a looser read. That's all cool. I am slightly worried about just that look of this. I should have mentioned it before, but I'll probably bring in the angle of the thumb to something like that. So meaning that it's going to be slightly hidden until it kind of come forward here. But it just has this slight feeling of it's kind of your hand is kind of curved this way, but then the thumb is really straight up. And I know it's resting on, on the door like this, but it's just this weird uh, 90 degree angle on that hand now. So if I be picky, probably take that down just a tad. And I think you could tone down the amount of movement just a little bit on all of them and then just a, a bit more on on the pinky and the ring so right now it feels like you're doing like a very exaggerated grab and if you just reduce that a bit and keep it mostly in just these two fingers kind of that kind of does that so you have a bit more here maybe a bit more of an extension a bit more movement through here but then these two the ring and the pinky just kind of go with it to kind of grab just so it doesn't feel like this big fanning out movement. All the fingers. That's all cool how it comes off. That's all cool here. Then you're working on that. Now the one that pushes against the door. Yeah, there's something through here where I, I feel like all fingers are moving at the same time. And there's not, not really a, a, especially through here, a connection. Where it feels like he's, he's going around and then you feel that push and then getting a bit of that in there. You can feel the flatness on the fingers with the push 
get out that the door is super heavy but a little bit and then no sliding from on the fingers on the door so you feel that nice pushing and now the connection point is solid and then at the end it might be a little bit spreading because you're closing the door shut and then comes off and changes the hand pose and i feel like that is not quite reading through all of this here the contact just feels pretty soft whoops through there now body wise Cool. cool hesitation in the head there. Yeah. Cool stuff there. And the feet, I remember there's some pivot point stuff. That I think you, you could still push. There's something about, as this foot comes down here, you can see how that's the angle of the leg, but then the foot is straight down. So at this point, I would have the foot angled this way. This might be too much, but just as an idea. And then it pivots off of that side of, of the shoe. And then as it goes on there, it rolls off so that the foot kind of, like the, fi the foot feels like it's always flat and then coming down as opposed to a little bit like this, coming on the edge and then rolling. And then as you go over here, see I can scrub through here and I don't feel like it's kind of rolling, pivoting off this side of the, of the shoe. So just that the contact feels a bit too locked where it's like an IK foot, nothing's moving and the rest of the leg is moving. Picky picky, but I think that would be something cool to put in. Not sure how close you get. It seems like you're intersecting. Watch out on this foot, the door. Not too bad. You're starting to pivot there early. That's cool. That's cool there. Uh, let me whoa not zoom in that much but bring it up to see the feet that's cool How you get in there? you'll probably i don't know if that rig has it then again it's not like he's barefoot it is a shoe i see a those those finger toe shoes i was just going to say as he puts his foot down you get a bit of spreading in the toes but that would look weird, but maybe you have a bit of a squish on the shoe for super subtle stuff. But in terms of rotations and pivots, it's not too bad. I still feel as you do something like this, there's a lot of movement. I don't know if the rig supports it, but if you have anything through here and, you, and the, just the ankle part kind of rotate over and you can feel that, that squishiness as the foot, you know, as the whole leg goes like this, you want to feel something in this in this area right if that's the ankle you'll feel a little bit of movement so how it follows the shin to kind of some compression and then the shoe rolls off or over picky thing and it's in there i would just push it a bit more but in general the steps are cool it's all cool the side step just a bit much how far back you go this way with the root root right there that little drift probably cut that in half let's go back in there so I can see the rest yeah it's just a bit a bit much it goes over and then kind of drifts rip to the left so I'll go over here and then just kind of hold a bit and go a little bit to the left for keep alive but that's about it. This is cool. Not sure if you did anything on the face. I'm going to wait with some more notes. You mentioned, I don't think you've done that just yet. You know, the eyebrows and stuff is all very, very locked. Not much in there. My turns are cool here, though. I think that works a lot better. So, yeah. So, picky, picky, picky things on feet. Um, but that is about it. As always, if you have any questions, let me know and uh, email me if you need clarification on things. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.